Have you tried to play Don't Scream in VR with Prey Dog's UEVR mod and it just didn't work for you? You know, kind of looks like a really bad flat vortex profile where the world is all smashed to your face and it's not really 3D. Yeah, me too. But have no fear. This is a quick video to explain how to get it to work for those of you who really hate that your pants aren't full of poo. <laughs> So, I actually made it through this nightmare yesterday, and let me tell you something. It's only 18 minutes long, but it's 18 excruciatingly terrifying, horrific, pants-shitting, 10 years added to your age long minutes. I just can't explain how, you know, you start out thinking, oh, this isn't that bad. And then the Silent Hill sirens go off, and it gets dark. So freaking dark. and. In VR, especially with a headset like the big screen beyond, I don't think I've ever been so freaking terrified for so long. So yeah, if you are a VR horror fan, this is a must, and here's how you do it. Okay, the reason it looks so crap out of the box is that the devs have all these filters on it to make the game look like it's an old VHS found footage style film, you know, like the Blair Witch. And it looks great flat, but not so much in VR. So, we need to do something about all those filters. Now, I think it's pronounced Panther A on the UEVR Discord has the answers. Uh, now, he tells you to open Windows Explorers and put in this app data, local, dream score, save, config, Windows. Here, here's the, the, I'll just put it up in on text. You can see it there. Find, file that path to find the in, engine any file. Um, I'm not sure where he got the game from, but if you got it off of Steam, that isn't where you're going to find that file. So first, while we're thinking about it, just copy all of this stuff right here. I put it in all in the description for you to copy and then go to where your Steam games are located. For me, it's D, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Don't Scream, and then open Don't Scream inside of there, and then uh, Saved config, windows, and from there you can then click on the engine any file and then just paste all of that stuff that you copied from the description at the bottom of that file. And then save it and close and you're done. The game should be working in VR with the UEVR mod now. Now I'll also leave a link to the profile that I put together for this game in the description. Uh, I didn't do too terribly much. I uh, made the UI smaller so it's easier to see and uh, yeah, that's maybe change the world scale just a little bit, but that's about it. All right, have fun guys. Um, I'm sorry about your pants ahead of time. If you found this helpful, I would love it if you hit a like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell too. I've got loads of UEVR stuff coming to the channel, so be prepared. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Dr. Greg, out.